there. Would you know if your marriage is on its last legs? Well, I'm Leslie Dorries, your marriage coach, creator of the Hero Husband Project and owner of Foundations Coaching. And I'm going to tell you, this was not the Facebook Live I was planning on doing today, except for the fact that on Tuesday, my computer slid off my desk, crashed to the floor, and I was left without a computer. Um, and I knew that my computer was on its last legs. I've known that I've needed to get a new computer. I know I've needed to back up the information on my computer. Did I do any of those things? No. And so when it crashed to the floor and I thought the whole thing was dead, suddenly I was in a panic because I had appointments that day. I had things I needed to do and because I had not been taking care of things, I was left kind of in an emergency situation. And unfortunately, a lot of people are like this about their marriages. They recognize that maybe, you know, th things are moving along. The computer, their marriage is functioning, even though there are things about it that are annoying or not working or whatever it may be, but you know, you subscribe to what I call the Scarlett O'Hara school of thought, meaning I'll think about it tomorrow. I'll deal with it th tomorrow. I'll deal with it when things get bad. And then it comes crashing down around you. And then you have to act. And there's a lot of stuff that goes into being more prepared for that. There's a lot of things that we can do, but we don't have time. And this is one of those things when everything comes crashing down around your ears, you find the time, you make the time. And that's what happened to me with my computer. This, the computer I'm talking to you on, brand new computer. It took me a couple of minutes to get everything all done so that I could do this Facebook Live. Um, and had I been actually more proactive about what was going on with my computer, then even though what happened was an accident, my, my, I didn't mean, my, literally my computer fell on the floor, didn't intend for that to happen, but then suddenly I'm in panic mode. Suddenly I am at the whim of the store that I can walk into and buy a new computer. No time to shop online, no time to look or to price compare, no time to do anything except go find something so that I could get back to working. And a lot of people do this with their marriages. It's, um, you know, they think things aren't so bad. They think, yeah, we've got time to fix this until you don't. And this is the time of year when a lot of people are rethinking their relationships and divorce attorneys and marriage therapists and marriage coaches phones are ringing off the hook. And the thing that I hate the most is when I get a phone call from somebody saying, help me, my wife just asked for a divorce. That's the equivalent to my computer falling on the floor and breaking. And just like my computer, if I had you repair is going to be a lot harder and it's more important it's actually much more helpful to deal with things at the time they come up and I get it I understand we don't want to deal with unpleasant things like our partner not being happy in our marriage or even us not being happy in our marriage and you might try to downplay it just like I did with my computer, I was putting up with poor performance because taking action, making, you know, actually doing something with it was much more challenging than just go, oh, I'll deal with it tomorrow. And then Tuesday came and tomorrow was now today. And I don't want that for you. And just like you don't want to be racing around like a chicken with your head cut off trying to go, oh my God, oh my God, I've got to save my marriage, i got to save my marriage. Taking the steps that will protect your marriage, that will promote your marriage, that will actually make your marriage what you want it to be, is going to take a little bit of time. 
But the longer you wait to do it, the longer it's going to take and the harder it's going to be. So if there is something going on in your marriage, and by the way, that is true for just about every one of us, there's something that could be better. And it may not be something that is putting your marriage at risk now, but if you don't address it, then it's going to just get worse. Things rarely get better just with time. We usually have to take action. And when it comes to our relationship, sometimes we don't know what that action entails. That's where I come in. I can help you figure it out. I can help you get on the right track, but you have to reach out and you have to, and, and please don't wait until your marriage falls on the floor and breaks into a million pieces. Because by that time, it's going to be too late and you're gonna to have to deal with the consequences of that. And I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna cost more. It's going to add to frustration. And sometimes it isn't going to be effective. Sometimes we can't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. And I don't want that for you. And the truth of the matter is, is that there is a way forward with probably less difficulty than you think. But the first thing is, is you've got to actually take some action. So that's what I'm inviting you to do. Um, I'm inviting you to get in touch with me, either through email, Leslie, L-E-S-L-I, at foundationscoachingnc.com, F-O-U-N-D-A-T-I-O-N-S, coaching, and as in Nancy, C as in charlie.com. Put a message down in the down below. Send me a direct message. Send up a, send up a smoke signal. That, no, that's not going to work. Um, but don't wait, right? Because the longer you wait, the worse it's going to get and the harder it's going to be to put things back together again. Um, feel free to just send me a question. Maybe what's your biggest challenge? Please subscribe to this channel and let me know what's going on with you. And hopefully you'll be doing some thinking about this and you'll recognize that even if things aren't dire, there may be some things that need to be addressed. And again, sooner is always better than later. So hopefully you found this helpful. And until next week, stay loving.